Okay guys, welcome back. Um, I'm going to tie the um, Mayo Gosling. So the hook on the vise is a size 10 standard heavyweight wet fly hook. I'm um, going to use uni thread 80 um, and light olive to tie the fly. So I'm just going to come in and get the thread started behind the eye of the hook. And we're just going to run our thread down here until we're in line with the barb of the hook and remove the the waist tag. Now I do tie these on barbless but if loads of barb tubes to get through and what I'll do is I'll debarb this once I finish tying the fly. Now the tail on the fly is cock pheasant fibres. Just get yourself a good cock pheasant tail. Probably looking between four and a half a dozen fibres. Then we're putting on three guys. Always compensate for this for your flies catching fish. I'm just going to put these on about a length and a half, the two lengths, the hook over the back. Then I'm going to come in and trim away the excess. The rib on the fly is a small oval gold tinsel. Could use a gold wire. So I'm just going to catch this in on the way up. I'm not going to be too fussy with the body. Like I said, most of the flies of this twists around on me. I'm happy enough. It's going to be a dub body, so if it was a tinsel or a mailar body, I was tying and take more care to try and keep it from any lumps and bumps. But dubbing hides a multitude of sins, if you like. Now, the dubbing is an insect green. This is an insect green dubbing um, from the traditional Irish dubbing range. So let's dub some of this on. Slide this up and we'll get started. We should bit shy, so we'll get another bit, another small amount of the dubbing. Right wee pattern this. Right, anything that's going forward, the eye, just bring your thread, push it back, pull it back and bring your thread in front. Then you can bring up your rib. And you're doing four turns of your oval gold tinsel up the body. And then just come around with your thread and tie that off. Then you can come in and trim away the, the excess of your oval cold tinsel. So gonna, any wee fibres are just going forward and just going to stroke those back. Bring my thread down to the eye and back up. And you can bring out some of the dubbing if you wish. If you've got a dubbing brush this is just some velcro on a lollipop stick. Bring some of the dubbing out just into the wee dressing. Give it a wee bit of life. That next haggle on the fly, you can use a scarlet red cock haggle. I'm just going to use a scarlet red hen haggle. So, just got a nice haggle off here for us to use. There's one there. Right, I'm just going to take off some of the fluff off the bottom, all of the fluff off the bottom to be precise. And then I'm just going to come in, stroke back the fibres to reveal the tip. And you're just creating like a type of a Christmas tree shape, if you like. And I'm just going to come up with my thread, a couple of turns to catch that in. I'm going to fold the tip of the hackle back, bring my thread turns back up over the tip on the hackle. Come in and break away the tip. So I didn't want to break away, so I'm just going to come in and trim it away. And then just stroke these back, the fibres back with your finger and thumb and just do one turn in front of the other. Now the turns of haggle are up to you. It's how heavy you like to dress your flies and suppose have confidence in 
facing the wee fly. Now I'm going to put this turn in and see what way I'm looking here. Just going to put one more in. Half a turn there just. And then I'm going to come around with my thread and just catch in the, the stem of the haggle. Now I'm just going to fold the stem back just with everything on it. Usually I strip it off but I'm just going to fold it back. I just don't want to be fiddling with the wee feather there because the stem is so thin. And then just break it the way of the stem. Now you can see the softness in that. I'm just blowing a wee bit of air on it. Nice and soft. The next haggle is a dyed mallard flank to show you it in yellow. Now, I've had these for geez, a long, long time. These feathers. And they only ever get an out when I'm sort of way tan flies like this. Should really probably use them more because they're a lovely feather. Well marked, nice dyed. Now what you could do is you can put on the dyed yellow here at the front because this is the last tackle on the wee fly. Or you could put on a teal or sorry, a mallard. It's been um dyed pickrick and that'll just give it like a fluorescent kick to the wee fly. Now a couple of turns in just to catch in the tip. I'm gonna fold the tip back. Bring my thread turns back up over the tip and the haggle. Just gonna come in and locate the tip, break it away, and then we'll just stroke these fibers back and do one turn in front of the other. Alright, I'm just gonna use up this whole wee feather here. Just to get plenty of movement and fiber onto the fly. Just to there. Now I'm going to come in. Don't worry about these going forward. Sort that out in a second. Take a couple of turns to catch that in. I'm going to fold the stem back. And then nice tight turns up and over the top. Now I usually break this stem away, but it is a bit thick. I'm just going to come in and trim away the stem at this stage. Just make sure everything's back, lift it all up. Then we can brighten the head up with our light olive thread. Just creating a nice wee head on the fly. Then you can come in with your whip finishing tool. And just the one a whip finish. Nice and tight. And your tan thread nice and tight. Come in trim away your tan thread. And that's the that's the Mayo Gosling. Now I'm just gonna we like a varnish. Clear varnish onto the head. Just to seal up our thread turns. I'll probably put another coat on um, after that. I usually have wire on my desk, but I don't have any, so I'm just going to use this feather to clean the eye. And there you go, folks. That's the, the Mayo Gosling. Now, it might look foreign to some people, these wee type of flies that I'm tan. But these are Crag and Irish Slope style flies. You wouldn't be without these in your box if you fish the, the big locks um, in Ireland. So look guys, tie a few of those up, hopefully they can catch you a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video, I really do appreciate it. If you like the wee videos I'm putting together, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Helps the wee channel out. And until next time folks, stay safe and tight lanes. Okay guys, the next video up on the, the channel is this. 
and this wee fly is called the executioner just basically a derivative of the um, silver stoat's tail